Hey, good morning. I pray that you are blessed of the Lord and that your heart is fully fixed on your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You're a blessed hope. I'd like to share a couple things that uh, I feel you will find extremely interesting and maybe even profound because many do not speak of these passages of scripture in this manner. And so I want to uh, begin in John 11. We're going to go ahead and start in verse 6. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of go through this really quick. <clears throat> So this is uh, when Lazarus, Lazarus uh, died, and there's a there's a conversation that takes place about the rapture between Martha and Lazarus. So excuse me, between Martha and Jesus. All right. So it says uh, we're going to go ahead and start uh, John 11, chapter six. So when he Jesus heard that Lazarus was ill, he stayed two days longer. Well, that's interesting. That's a representation of the 2,000 years from when Jesus ascended to when he's going to appear again. He stayed two days longer in the place where he was. Then after this, he said to his disciples, let us go to Judea again. The disciples said to him, Rabbi, the Jews were just seeking to stone you. And that's been happening for the past 2,000 years, right? And you're going there again, and Jesus answered them. And then he goes on to describe uh, 12 hours in the day, and there's a, whole, uh, there's a whole reason why that is all taking place. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go down to verse 17. And now when Jesus came... He found that Lazarus has already been dead in the tomb for four days. Well, that's the, that's the first 4,000 years from when Jesus uh, came the first time. He came at the 4,000-year timeline. And so we're going to go ahead and go down to verse 21. This is when Martha came out to speak with Jesus. Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that whatever you ask from God, God will give to you. And Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. Now, that is very interesting because the resurrection happens at the rapture. So in their mind, they knew of the resurrection of the dead. And so they knew of the rapture. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. That's the dead in Christ. And everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. Those are the dead in Christ First, the dead in Christ rise, and then we who are alive and left will never die. This is exactly what this is stating. He's talking about the last day. They knew that the last day of the human race is the rapture, because it's never going to be at, at the rapture. The human race is never going to be the same again. And it even goes on, do you believe this? Martha, do you believe this? Do you believe in this? And she said to him, yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who is coming, who is coming into the world. That's very profound. So we're going to go ahead and now go to 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, starting in verse 14. Since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep, the dead in Christ, that we just spoke about. Because Martha thought that Lazarus was going to be the dead in Christ. It was going to rise on the last day. For we declare by a word from the Lord that 
We who are alive and left until the coming of the Lord will not precede those who have fallen asleep or the dead in Christ. So they rise first. For the Lord himself will descend, will descend from heaven with a cry of command and with the voice of the archangel and with the sound of the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will rise first that they just spoke about. Then we who are alive and left will be caught up, harpazoed, raptoroed, raptured, caught up together with them in the clouds, in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will always be with the Lord. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. And I'm encouraging you with these words. This is an encouragement. The dead in Christ and rise, and we who are alive and love will be caught up. Just as Jesus spoke, Jesus, Jesus just, he just said that, hey, listen, all who, who, all who are dead will rise again, and, then, and those who are alive will never die. That's literally talking about this passage of Scripture. We're going to go ahead and go into Acts. Acts 1, starting in verse 6. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start in verse 6. So, when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom of Israel? And he said to them, It is not free to know the times and seasons that the Father has fixed in his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes. You'll receive all knowledge when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem. It's just it's not it's not now. It's it's coming. The knowledge is coming. And then Judean and Samaria and, it, and to the ends of the earth. And then when he had said these things, as they were looking on, he was lifted up into a cloud, and it took him out of their sight. And while they're still gazing into heaven. As he went, behold, two men, not two angels, two men. I believe these are the two witnesses. Because listen to this next exchange of words. The two men stood by them in white robes and said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into heaven? This Jesus who was taken up from you into heaven will come again in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. It's a reversal of exactly what just happened. Jesus went up, the men appeared. And now Jesus is going to come down, gather us, and the men will appear. Because the two witnesses, their ministry will happen right after the rapture. So we're going to go ahead and now go into Revelation 14. We're going to go ahead and start in Verse 14, so 14, 14, now, now listen closely. Then I looked and behold a white cloud and seated on the cloud, one like the Son of Man. Oh, wait a second. He's coming back in a cloud just as he went up. With a golden crown on his head and with a sharp sickle in his hand. And another angel came out of the temple calling with a loud voice to him who's sitting on the cloud, Put in your sickle and reap, for the hour to reap has come, for the harvest of the earth is fully ripe. This is the rapture. So he who sat on the cloud, who is Jesus Christ, swung his sickle across the earth, and the earth was reaped. This is the rapture. I'm going to go ahead and read again. Let's see, for the Lord himself will descend with the cry of command, with the voice of the archangel. Well, wait a second. And another angel came out of the temple, calling with a loud voice to him who sat on the cloud, put in your sickle and reap. He's calling to the Lord. Okay, Lord, it's time. It's now. Let's go. We're, we're here. Let's happen. So the earth was reaped. And then when you continue on in uh, chapter 14, this actually talks about after the Lord reap the earth, that another angel came out and put his sickle in to gather the grape clusters from the earth, the grape harvest, and threw them into the wine press or the tribulum, the great tribulation of the wrath of God. 
And then uh, right after this, when you read into 15, this is where it actually states about the, um, the those who are raptured in heaven. Because uh, those who are raptured have have uh, harps in their hands, and those who came out of the tribulation have palm branches in their hands. And so I just wanted to put this out there, that Jesus Christ, in front of Lazarus' tomb, describes the entirety of the gospel. The first 4,000 years of death, and then the two years that we are here, that's why he waited two days. The two year, two years, or two thousand years of life, the time that the church age was here, and then it goes on to describe what will happen next. The dead in Christ will rise, and those who are living will never die. Reiterated in First Thessalonians, the dead in Christ will rise, and we who are alive and left will be caught up, and just as again reiterated. In Revelation 14, when the Lord will put his sickle in and reap the earth. And so, as we wait upon the Lord, we see these things taking place. We see these things playing out. So this uh, Lazarus prophecy is about to come to pass. This is a documented historical event that took place. And now this prophecy, the Lazarus pot prophecy, is about to take place. So I want you to prepare your hearts, prepare the way of the Lord. For the voice of Jesus is calling us out from the grave like Lazarus. He's going to call us. He's going to call us home. The voice, the cry of command of the archangel, and with the trumpet, of God, the trumpet of the most holy and high Father in heaven. And what a mighty trumpet it is. I've heard this. I heard the sound when the Lord woke me up to these times and seasons in which we are in, the end of times. So I want to encourage you, my friends, that we are almost home to hang in there. Do, do not grumble. If you're suffering, suffer for the Lord. I know that's easy for me to say, but we are all going through things. But do not grumble. Count it all joys, joy when we face trials of many kinds. If people are persecuting us, hallelujah. Praise Jesus Christ if we are being persecuted, especially for his name. If we are being ridiculed for our blessed hope, hallelujah. Hallelujah. If we are being mocked and scoffed, as it is called out in Scripture, hallelujah. Because those who are alive at the coming of the Lord will be caught up. And those who have passed before that great and mighty day, before that moment, will be the dead in Christ that rise. And that we who are alive and love will be caught up, just as it is stated was it within the Lazarus prophecy. So I want to encourage you, my friends. Have hope. Place your faith in the Lord. He is coming soon. He is coming. He's warning us. He's telling us he is coming. Have a blessed day, my friends. I love you. It's in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord Timothy King. I send this message and pray. Bye-bye.